Clavicle Fractures Ailment Classification. The ailment classification is based on the anatomical location of the fracture. Clavicle fractures are traditionally treated conservatively and there is more evidence nowadays that conservative treatment is not ideal for displaced clavicle fractures. Conservative treatment may result in a higher incidence of malunion, nonunion, and permanent shoulder dysfunction. The cracoclavicular ligaments, as you seen here, are the primary stabilizer to superior vertical translation of the distal clavicle. The conoid is medial and the trapezoid is lateral. There are three groups in Elman classification. Group 1, fracture involving the middle third of the clavicle. It accounts for approximately 80% of clavicle fractures. As a general rule, when the fracture is less than 100% displaced, then it is treated conservatively with a slang, but when the displacement is more than 100%, then the fracture is treated with surgery. When there is a displacement, the medial fragment is usually elevated and the distal fragment is displaced downward by gravity and by the weight of the arm. In group 2 is fracture of the lateral third, which is about 10 to 15 percent of all fractures of the clavicle. And we apply near classification of the lateral third of the clavicle. So near type 1, in the second group, which is the lateral third of the clavicle, in type 1 the fracture occurs lateral to the crococlavicular ligaments, which is the trapezoid and conoid. So it means the crococlavicular ligaments are intact and are attached to the medial segment. And that keeps the fracture minimally displaced or undisplaced. Type 2 is divided into type 2A and type 2B. Type 2A, both coronoid and trapezoid ligaments remain attached to the distal segment. So the fracture occurs medial to intact ligaments. So the medial clavicle is unstable and the non-union rate is high without surgery. How about 2B? So the fracture can occur either between the ruptured coronoid and the intact trapezoid or lateral to both ligaments that are torn. So the medial segment, the medial clavicle is unstable. A non-union is high without operative treatment. As you can see, if the medial clavicle is high, then probably the ligaments are torn and the patient probably will need surgery. And that is type 2B. And it doesn't matter if the fracture went in between the ligaments and tore it partially or went medial to the ligaments and the clavicle is high. Both probably will need surgery. But if the fracture occurs lateral to the ligaments, then we are stabilizing the medial clavicle and we probably are not going to need surgery because the clavicle is not going to be displaced a lot because the ligaments is anchoring it and holding it in a good position. So what is group 2 type 3? We know group 2 is lateral third clavicle and type 3 means extension of the fracture into the AC joint. It's an intra-articular fracture. It is a stable injury because the fracture occurs lateral to the ligament. The patient may develop post-traumatic arthritis. How about Elman group 3? It is a fracture involving the medial third of the clavicle. It's probably about 5% of all clavicle fractures. Displacement on non-union is very rare, so the treatment is usually non-operative 
and it is really symptomatic. This is a summary of the classification of clavicle fractures. Thank you very much. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.